Boise residents will remember a city hall plan for a streetcar nearly 10 years ago. A plan for a new form of public transportation in downtown Boise has been in the works for a while. And now, with Boise growing as fast as it is, many downtown stakeholders are taking another stab at it. Morgan Boydson, she's everywhere tonight, has a look at the new plans and has some reaction from local businesses. Imagine being able to get from one side of downtown Boise to the other quick and easy. I think Boise's ready for that. It's presented as the T, a committee full of downtown employers like St. Luke's and Idaho Power, stakeholders like landlords and business owners has been meeting since early 2014 to develop the project. It's an idea of, of, of moving people around, allowing them to be able to park once and, and be downtown and move around and do the things they need to do. Journey says it's still too early to know exactly what it'll look like, but the committee's working on a couple options for this circulator. Weighing the costs, weighing the benefits. A streetcar rail system or bus alternative. This would be a big change for Boise. The proposed T would run along Idaho and Maine from 15th Street up to 1st Street, then from 9th and Maine down to Boise State, then up along Capitol back to Main Street. Going from the bars to back home, back to the SU campus, you want to make sure that you're staying safe, that you're not running into people you shouldn't be running into, driving home drunk, getting a DUI. Some concern comes from businesses along the route and commuters who would be affected by all the construction the new transit would bring. If I kill businesses a little bit, to be honest, it'll probably get harder to get here. Anytime there's construction, there's disruption, and you know that's part of progress. There's also the question of where the money will come from for this permanent investment. You need to make sure the funding's there in order to do it effectively. Journey says the cost will depend on the alternative mode that they choose. He says there's federal and local money available, possibly from the city's parking revenue. Growth is here. It's coming. Again, the plan's still in the works, and we're told it could be months before we know exactly what the circulator would look like.